Hello peeps. <coughs> oh, COVID. Um, picked up one of these on Amazon the other day. It's a battery analyzer. Plug it onto your battery, it tells you the voltage, tells you the resistance of your battery, and then it tells you the health of your battery. Voltage, fine. Perfectly accurate. Tested with my multimeter, same. Um, resistance, fine. Tested with my multimeter, matches. Health analyzer, um, slow bollocks. I tested that brand new battery you saw in the one video back, two videos back, the video about the USB charging ports on my Kinex. Brand spanking new battery, two weeks old. Sits at a float voltage of tw over 12.8 volts, which is really good, especially in this weather for a battery that's not running a smart charge system. It's just a, not even a sealed lead acid battery, it's just a flooded lead acid battery. This told me, after putting a load test on it, that it was 68% past, 68% healthy. What the fuck does that mean? Put this load tester on it, which will put, I don't even know how many amps this puts through it, but it's got to be 75 to 100 amps, this thing. It sticks a big load through it. It's a battery load tester, it's the proper thing. This came from a uh, car spare shop. They dropped it, broke it. It was repaired by a friend of mine, my mate Pete. You're right, Pete, you won't be watching this because you haven't got the internet, but it's because you're old. Um, he repaired it, works perfectly. You put it on your battery, it puts a huge load through it. It warms up these coils inside. It's a resistive load. And as long as the meter doesn't drop, it will normally sit somewhere about there, about 12 and a half volts, where a normal battery sits. You can see the green mark there. That's where a normal battery sits at rest voltage. Now, when you put the load on it, as long as it stays in that green sector there, your battery's good. I tested both of those batteries in my tray. I also tested the battery on the Connect, and it dropped to 11 and a half volts. That's a very, very healthy battery. To only drop to 11 and a half volts with such a large load on it. And yet this said it was only 68% healthy. A brand new battery that's two weeks old, really healthy resting voltage after 24 hours in this cold weather, 68% healthy. What does that actually mean? It means jack shit, people. 36 pound, absolute waste of money. Absolute waste of money. To be perfectly honest, I got this from Lidl's. You plug it in, it's got five lights it tells you whether your battery is good bad or ugly uh, depending on the voltage because let's see batteries you can tell that literally just by the voltage and then you start your engine up and it tells you whether your alternator is producing power literally just by measuring the voltage this was 299 it does exactly the same job as this does except it doesn't give you some bullshit results this thing can only load the battery up to test its health with maybe one or two amps i mean look at the size of these leads you ain't gonna get more than maybe five amps through that and then they'll start to heat up that is no test of a lead acid battery you need to be dropping 50 amps 100 amps through it just like your start motor would when you turn your engine over this is a proper test for a lead acid battery a proper drop tester a proper load tester tells you the health of the battery this is a chintzy piece of crap Mainly because it of course costs 36 quid. If it cost 2 99 like this, I'd say it was perfectly good and adequate. But it didn't cost 2 99 it cost 36 quid. So there you go. Cheap and good, cheap and nasty, expensive old and does what it says on the tin. Bloody good. But as I say, they're very expensive. It's a proper professional bit of kit used by battery suppliers to check their stock before they sell them. So there you go, peeps. Hope that was of some help. It probably wasn't, but there you go. Topics.